hello everyone in this tutorial i'll show you how to sum by group in excel okay so let's get started before getting into that if you do not have the data set properly sorted you must do so as we are going to get the sum of cells based on categories let's sort the data set by them okay so sort it is it now the data set is properly sorted and we can enter the formula equal to if tab the first category equal to the cell above this is just for the sake of the formula to work nothing need to worry about okay equal this is if this is true then we want an empty string as a result comma otherwise we want to use the sami function so let's do that the range is the category column control shift down lock the cell reference using f4 okay the criteria is any particular category do not log this cell and the sum range is the sales column okay log this criteria also okay close the bracket press enter now the these cells amounts to 575 200 300 400 575 okay now copy the formula down below and you are done okay now let's see another example suppose you want to get the sum of sales based on categories and also by brands okay then what to do well you can use the sum ifs function okay so the sum range is the sales column do not forget to log this cell reference criteria one is this one but in this case let's select the data set first and create some named ranges okay so from the formula step control shift f3 okay top row go to the formula step again name manager okay we have too much let's delete them and create them again okay okay all right now let's enter the formula sum ifs sorry sum ifs the sum range is the sales column okay so sales comma criteria range one is category so category and criteria is closing okay and criteria range 2 is brand so brand and criteria 2 is brand okay press enter and we get 275 that means clothing Zara 200 and Zara 75 275 okay 65 tools is Stanley so let's say tools is Stanley these two 40 25 40 and 25 means 65 okay so this is working just fine too now let's see other alternatives here let's say we can extract the unique categories using the unique function okay so unique okay and now we can use the sum if function okay the range is okay log the reference criteria is this one the sum range is this one okay we are getting the same results as earlier okay another alternative is we can also use the sum function along with the filter function okay so we want to filter the sales column okay and 
the criteria is closing equal to the category equal to closing okay let's see if this works yes we are getting the same result as earlier okay you can also use the subtotal tool to get the same results so where you need to go we go to data and then from the outline group click on subtotal okay and make sure the function is sum and then the subtotal is selected to sales okay you can add page breaks that means a line will be inserted between each group of data okay now you can see so there is an issue here as we have made the subtotal based on product but we need to do that based on category okay so let's undo this and let's see we can do this again so data subtotal oh sorry so at each change in you must change this to proper column so category okay now let's see and we are getting the proper result okay so closing total 575 as seen earlier okay tools 220 okay so this is another way to sum by group in excel okay now the last method in the last method we are going to use the pivot table okay so let's insert a pivot table in here so insert pivot table in the existing data set the location should be f1 okay now we are only going to use the category and sales okay so category and sales and we are getting the same results as earlier okay so i hope you find this video useful Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.